Welcome to everyone at this webcast. In this tutorial I will show you how to code a Rex program. Rex is an old language that came from uh, like COBOL and EasyTrieve, the IBM environment. It's used inside the mainframe 3270 and uh, it's a very useful and powerful language for mainframe programs. I will now introduce you a program that I used for many years and uh, the program is called Builder 7. With this program you will be able to code a Rex in less than 5 minutes. So let's begin. I've already downloaded and installed Builder 7. Builder 7 can be found at builder7.altervista.org and uh, you will see a site that is this you go to the download section and download Builder 7. Ok, I've already installed and configured this application so it's easy, I don't will uh, spend time about this matter. What I will spend time is how to configure your first Rex program or maybe your uh, first uh, fast uh, Rex program. Let's go to the program base parameters. What I have to do when I came at this panel is to create a new program. So I click New Program. I choose uh, the language that is Rex, of course, and I say OK. Every information about the previous program will be deleted. OK. OK. Here we are. Our first Rex begins with the name of the Rex we have uh, to insert in this text box. We will call it uh, Rex uh, number 1. The code language that can be changed uh, at any time will be of course Rex. And here the description. This is my first Rex program. I will process one file input and get one file output. We can choose uh, between two options in this uh, program. We will choose uh, to use the basic uh, option that is batch rex. So we'll have uh, a batch uh, program uh, in Rex mode. We don't want JCL. JCL is the either to uh, execute a Rex. In this case uh, it's not uh, important. We disable this checkbox. We will keep comments. Comments make uh, your uh, code uh, more clear, more uh, readable and uh, I always love uh, to have uh, some comments that separate the section one uh, between the others. So I will leave comment. Constant is another option that is built in inside the software because uh, also Rex like COBOL and EasyTrieve didn't have constants. Constants are so stored inside uh, an area that is uh, compared at the end of the program and uh, a control will check if they are equal. I don't want these options for now so I disable constants. Now we can customize very uh, very many options but uh, we will concentrate it about input files I will choose an input files and output files I can define some details of the input files clicking details so I click details and uh, a file name will be required this form uh, is a uh, standard and uh, provide basic information so input input f1 file input with soccer result it's just for example you can put uh, your description uh, and uh, keep it in mind when you will get the final program i will click uh, ok output file detail I will put a name or just use the fold. In this case I will I will write uh, 
out soccer sock out sock uh, number one output file of soccer soccer and goals I can choose uh, to create my output file in Excel standard mode Excel standard mode is for uh, Excel so you will have uh, in mind to export the data into a CSV file you will have to check this box in this case we will create just a simple txt file with some process we click uh, OK at this time uh, the software is already configured for a basic input and output uh, batch mode in a Rex language with comments no other options has been selected we click OK. We have configured and set up our programs. We have now to generate the code and see what happened. Generate the program. In this panel we can uh, see the name of our programs Rex and R01 and R01 and uh, what we have to do is to click go to create the program go a quick process the program has been completed we can preview the program clicking program preview here we are also like COBOL and EasyTrieve programs there are some variables that uh, are, configure are configured inside the main setup inside Builder 7 we don't need these variables for now, so we delay them. This is the descriptions of my program. The program is Rex and R01, the date, the programmer, the company, some destination company variables that mu must be configured inside Builder 7, and uh, finally our description. This is my first Rex program. I will process one file input and get one file output. With this logic scheme, you can understand what the program does in just 10 lines. There is an input file, a main process done by Rex and R01, and an output file. So, this is just a comment area. Let's go on. This is a trace. Trace is useful for the bug and you can configure with ORI to get uh, level details of tracing. It's all a uh, Rex matter about uh, debugging and uh, programming your software. We can uh, see at the beginning the input file definition. We use stems for input file definition and uh, as uh, COBOL and EasyTrieve and uh, many mainframe programs it's uh, all uh, configured to be uh, read it record by record one by one and uh, processed one by one this is a way that uh, is cheap about resources and uh, is quick about uh, environment about processing here we have uh, our output file one output file of sockers and goals also in this uh, working uh, definitions we have a stem a stem of a rex called out sock 01 at this part common says we we have uh, meet the counters so we can get uh, the counters and uh, see that they are defined inside this stem Rex have uh, hidden declarations, so we must not define uh, this variable. They can be declared inside uh, of this context. This is another stem. This is a working section with uh, a couple of working variables, also described uh, here. A module section that I don't need uh, to use in this uh, case, so I can delay it and uh, the main. At this point the program begins. Every program 
is divided into an initialization area, a process area and a closing area. The main process will be used to make the main functions of your program. The initialization is the first called area and the closing are the termination process. We will see now the main process. So we have a file input. I want that at the process I want to read the file input so I uncomment this procedure. This is my beginning and I will have a, a commented file output for writing the records. I will cut this section and I will search for this process. It's just here. I will paste the right file. So we just have to complete the, the basic logic to work for our program and uh, here we can understand uh, that we are processing the input file. Every input file is read one record by one. So we see the input row that is uh, our record and we decide that our output file will contain exactly the input row. Here we are. There is also a way to understand how many records has been processed. You can uh, set up uh, this number and uh, have a trace, uh, a log, uh, about uh, every 1000 records processed of the input file 1. So I've already set up the number and I can delete some comments. Comments help us to complete the program. Of course, advanced programming requires advanced logic and uh, you can uh, build and construct every routines by your own. Now we can go through the area quickly. This is the input reading of the input file. This is the writing that writes one record of the output file reading from the stem we have uh, populated uh, at the rows before here and here find find our stem is written inside uh, the output file with a exec io command we can go further because this function are already complete. At last we can uh, see the init. The init should be put at the beginning but uh, also we want to throw inside uh, the logic of the program so we can decide uh, to get it at the end, at the beginning, on where we want. In the init we can find the open of the input file and the open of the output file and of course a log uh, that the program has begun. We can now see that the file has been opened. We don't need a location of file because the file uh, will be put inside the JCL. It's a function of the JCL. And we could go further about uh, the open of the output file. Also, in this case, uh, there is no necessity of allocation. Allocation is a AV process and uh, Rex can uh, be dynamically used for allocating file. A final and close perform is used here to display the counters and the closing the files we have opened during the process during the program. The close is already a completed uh, perform, a completed function. So we don't have uh, to make any changes inside of this section. At the end, uh, the program will be terminated with a zero return code uh, that is positive, a good uh, termination. Of course, there uh, could be a 99 termination, maybe under the error section. 
that the show house that the program has been wrongly terminated. Also, if we have a previously allocated the file, we should uncommend the free of allocation. We don't have done like this, so we can delay the free allocation instruction. Here we are, a counter display that is built in and show you how many records of the input file, how many records of the output file, and how many errors and contracts during the running of the program. At last, some basic instruction for ESPF command or ESPF command silent without any test of the return code, some TSO command, some silent TSO without the test of a return code. For example, there are functions that uh, can return false and we can understand inside the logic of the program about the return code. So we want to use uh, silent. In other way, if we want to be sure that the function for TSO is uh, rightfully called, we should test automatically this return code. And so the error. The error can be a little configured showing some working variables. At this uh, example we don't have uh, working variables and we can delay th this area. The program at this point is completed. When the, the error occurs you can call the terminate program with 99. 99 is a return code that means that you are in error and uh, will be put shared inside uh, your mainframe to see if your program return 0 or return 99 at the end of the process. The REX program is completed. We have seen how to manage one input file and one output file. We have created the program in less than 5 minutes. I thank you for watching. We save this file and uh, go to mainframe. Thank you for watching. Ciao.